Hoi allemaal en welkom bij een nieuwe aflevering van Yo Welkom. Vorige keer heb je gezien hoe we samen met onze gasten twee heerlijke cocktails hebben gemaakt. Maar vandaag zijn we bij de studio Abroad waar we twee hele muzikale mensen gaan ontmoeten. Namelijk Shandon en Stijn. Ze gaan ons mee vertellen over hun muzikale leven en ik heb er heel veel zin in. Laten we naar binnen gaan. Let's go! Sorry, what key are you playing right now? Hey guys! It's an A, right? How are you doing? I'm gonna just oh. sit very awkwardly Hello. beside you of guys. Of course, no How are you doing? Good. Great? Great? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, we're here in the studio, and Shandon, I already heard a lot about you, but can you please tell a bit about yourself? Uh, I'm Shandon, and I've, I've came here from Austin, Texas to, to play music. I, uh, changing the backdrop and playing to different audiences is kind of what my dad used to do. So I kind of took that same thing and went, he went to, uh, what do you call it, you know, Helsinki area. I came to Amsterdam. It's awesome. It's great to have you here. Thank you. It's great to be here. And Stein, for you the same thing. Who are you? Uh, I'm Stein. Uh, I come all the way from Tilburg uh, to play a song uh, and a few songs and have a conversation with uh, Shannon right here. I study in uh, Den Bosch. I uh, study on the name at Avance and uh, I run my own uh, vintage uh, clothing web shop. That's great. Well guys, I rudely disturbed you guys, but I'm going to sit in the audio room. Now I want to hear everything about your stories and about your guitar playing skills. Okay. Yeah. All right. I will leave you guys to it. <laughs> Great. Have fun. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. What? Um, so, what got you? What sparked your interest? In music, in general. Yeah. Or what made that fire light up? Uh, it was for me the the top 2000. It is uh, in Dutch, uh, in the Netherlands. It's a list where every single Dutch person yeah. can uh, vote. Yeah. And then we get one list of 2000 songs and number one is always Bohemian Rhapsody. And uh, I got into music by listening to Bohemian Rhapsody and not understanding it. I thought like, how can so many people think this is the best song ever? And I keep play kept playing it, kept playing it, kept playing until I understood. And I thought like, yeah, this is great, you know? And I've started looking more into Queen and uh, songs like I Want to Break Free, We Are oh. Champions, We yes. Are Rock You. Of course. And uh, yeah, that's how I got into Queen, and uh, eventually from Queen I went to ABBA. <laughs> Actually, oh man, yeah. you, you've got some. I, that's all good. Yeah, I yeah, love yeah. ABBA. I listened a lot of ABBA. ABBA really great. great fan. Um, and from ABBA I went to all kinds of metal and rock, mm -hmm. and uh, from that uh, to folk mostly right now. There's some great bands. The yeah, folk. I really want a guitar that sounded like the guitar of Brian May, and there are actually a lot of guitarists that uh, tried that but they didn't really um, did a good job at it. Yeah. But I thought like, yeah, what, let's start at uh, like making a guitar of oak, like mm -hmm. Brian made it. That's what Brian did. Okay, so yeah. that guitar is made of oak. Yeah, yeah. He, okay. he built it from uh, an old fireplace from the 70s century. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, 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 an old piece of oak. And uh, so I thought like, yeah, that sounds great. So I'll try it uh, as well. And uh, I built this guitar from oak and I, uh, <laughs> Understood why nobody actually does it because it's very heavy. Oh yeah, no, yeah, I, you have to I, try actually. I understand that. Yeah, no, it feels it's like uh, a Les Paul. What I was telling yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very um, solid. But the thing that's cool about it is like, because you know this. I mean, a lot of your tone, probably over fifty percent, is in your hands. Yeah. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's good to have a good guitar that's quality. Yeah, well, you can, it's you good can blame, to have. You can't blame your guitar anymore. If you have a very good guitar or well, just sure. when your stuff is just right, yeah. you can't blame that anymore. It's just yeah. you and your playing. Yeah. Uh, and people hear music differently. Everyone, yeah. I could play everyone something and they get out of it what they get out of it. Everyone's yeah. different. Um, I was going to say, because one of my favorite quotes that Cobain used to say was, doesn't matter how sloppy something is as long as it's got passion. And I believe that so yeah, hardly. Because yeah, yeah. you can get good things and learn stuff out of mediocre bad musicians. Mm -hmm. You can know what not to do, but you also can go, hey, that guy, the way he approached that song, I, that was cool. Yeah. You can get stuff out of everything if you just pay attention. It's really about just the passion and the love for yeah. it, you know, because I'll tell you right now, you're going to be broke before you see any money. Just the way it works. Yeah. I mean, unless you're an overnight sensation, but still, even that overnight sensation, there's work to that, mm -hmm. you know? So, as long as it's from the heart and you do it because you love it, then you'll never work a day in your life, if you get what I'm saying. You do it for the fun, yeah. That's right. And I really think you can hear it when a person really oh, uh, yeah. does it from his heart, plays well, his I emotions, could, you I can really hear it. I could it. go like this. 
Or I could go. But yeah. even that's got an emotion. So, yeah, yeah. you know, like, it, it, every day's your mood and it comes out. Yeah. It just comes out. Isn't yeah. that trippy? That's what I love about music. Yeah. Yeah, and the yeah, other yeah, one's gone. Uh, the other one's gone. Or, uh, the other one bites the dust. On the pressure, it's. Uh... Oh, yeah. Who, who was the other band that ripped that song off? Uh, 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 Vanilla Ice. Ice. Vanilla Ice, yeah. And I saw my Ice, TV Ice. going, no, it's different. Ours goes, <laughs> ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, dun. Ding, da, da, ding. Theirs goes, ding, da, da, ding, da, da, ding, dun. And I was like, don't it's see exactly the difference. The same. It's, he tried to to rationalize the difference yeah. and it was the exact same melody. <laughs> and that's what's funny, but there is, you know, there's only 12 notes. So mm -hmm. you start over, but at the same time you- uh, It's a totally different song actually. But yeah. you know how many songs, listen to all the great stuff out of 12 notes yeah. that have been created. Yeah, so you do have the ACDC, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. And you can, you know, you can do that same formula. Uh, Bon Scott, uh -huh. and that's... They play everything in A, right, ACDC? Yeah, and they're very bluesy. I yeah. mean, you know, uh, that's another great band. It's another great band, you know? Yeah. I mean, yeah. uh, Angus Young does all that stuff and he doesn't miss a lick, you mm -hmm. know? I just rolls around, and you'd think rolling around, he'd go playing missing licks, and he's just ba -da -da -da, just like if he was standing up playing it. You know? Yeah, but uh, for example, uh, Angus Young, when you see him on the stage, you, you believe that guy, you feel that guy, oh, you know the, that, music, the emotion, you know? Here's the difference I did, didn't, didn't, uh, didn't elaborate on. When it's really rocking, music plays you, you don't play music. Yeah, yeah, and you can Think see that as well. Power. Yeah, and the way he's just, and the sweat's just, yeah, I mean, just, yeah, yeah. when it's really channeling that, you're, mm -hmm. it's playing you, you're not playing it. I mean, you are playing it, but it's transitioning so much and there's so much coolness that it kind of just takes over. For a very long time, I played electric guitar like a classical guitar. <laughs> so I put it like this and then bend it over backwards and I yeah. have this bench here yeah. for my feet. And uh, yeah, I just played electric guitar mm -hmm. like, yeah. like this, instead of what most electric guitar players do, it's like this. So uh, yeah, there are some bits that stuck with me, but uh, yeah. mostly the tears from crying, from not wanting to uh, go to I the know. lessons. I know, but, but uh, yeah, I'm actually glad my parents. Uh, yeah, that's what I mean. There's a there's an underlining goodness to that. Yeah, even yeah. if you didn't have, you know, what yeah. I'm, so that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, yeah. I think if I never started acoustic guitar lessons, that I maybe wasn't really You'd be going that to much look more behind, music, wouldn't yeah. you? Uh, or not behind, but you would be not that much more. Yeah, maybe. I know it helped in some it sense. It would be a very to. big step to uh, go from not having any uh, musical experience yeah. uh, to play music than when I had actually some lessons in acoustic guitar. Yeah. W what are you putting together, or, you know, the last um, year or so? What have you been? Well, with that high school band, we actually uh, won a competition for other high school bands. Okay. We were the best high school band of Tilburg, I believe. Okay. And uh, then we. Uh, went to a festival, Festival Allegria. It's uh, that was actually pretty cool. And uh, from there, there was a guy that uh, actually asked us to record a few of our songs. There you go. And uh, yeah, we still have to do that, but that's uh, what I'm busy with right now. Yeah. And there are songs that I uh, I wrote them myself. Uh, is it so? Do you have a band with you, or can you in the studio? Can you do it all yourself? Uh, I could can do it myself. Can you play bass? So when you're going, you know. Yeah, I play... Uh, then you grab the bass and you go... Yeah. I actually play guitar, I play the bass, uh, a little bit of drumming, and uh -huh. uh, yeah, so I could do the whole song by myself. Uh, yeah, of course I prefer it with my band, but well, I Well, because the band uh, gives you different things that you might not play. Yeah. Like, they, g and if they're good, they give you... It's that soup, it's that blender of mm -hmm. that smoothie, you know, yeah. just brrr, here it is, you know. Uh, and your influences too. You put all your influences in there. You know, Devo, Kiss, Black, Black Sabbath, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and there's your music. You know, yeah. that's the good way of looking at it. And also, I find very great if there are some people who think with me because I, I know what that's I want to play. But uh, you have to have people on the same page. Yeah. If you're in a band and the other guy's thinking about, oh, I just as an opportunist and I just want to be in a band and then I'm going to hop from band to band to climb mm -hmm. the ladder. It's good to know that beforehand. You know, but. 
It is great to have people, like-minded people, that'll, that'll think the same. Actually, all those good bands, you know, I mean, even in the beginning when I started this band Pariah, we were friends that started off that actually got popular. Yeah. And so we just, you but know. I like, believe you needed chemistry because you started as friends. Oh, you need a chem All good bands yeah. have chemistry, yeah. first of all. But you could also, if you take the time to practice, see, have you ever heard of this saying, one gig is worth a thousand practices? And do you know what that means? Uh, that means explain. that when you get up on stage and you have people in front of you, yeah. you know exactly what works and exactly what doesn't right then and there. And then you go back and you go, oh man, song number three, the crowd went crazy. Yeah. I don't know about song four and five, but boy, then six and seven, they were just... So you get what I'm saying. You start mm -hmm. to hone your, 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 your craft or your songs to where it's just what you... You know, you pick all your best songs because you know what we think. We like a lot of our own songs, but really, it's the people out there that'll decide. Yeah. And then they'll say, "Oh man, that second to last song you played, what was that?" Um, yeah. What do you What do you plan to do in the future? What it just record? Well, actually, I uh, really want to dive deeper into songwriting because for me, the best uh, way of putting my emotion in music is to write songs actually and translate my feelings my emotions into a song and to do that right i actually think that is the hardest thing in music but uh the most valuable thing as yes. well yes songwriting is where your bread and butter comes from yeah yeah but um, that's i mean yeah uh, keep going i really find it hard um when uh, yeah back to the feedback when someone says yeah you have to do it a bit like this or like this because it's my feeling what I'm uh, yeah. bringing to the crowd yeah. and yeah I don't really care how you want it but that is how I'm feeling you know and this is my most the, the truest way of it you do the best you can and you hope people jump on the train for the ride that's really yeah. it now people are yeah. gonna have critiques and you know I've heard about you know, okay, some Dutch course. the Dutch people can sometimes be like I don't like that I like this yeah. but I don't mind that I like the honesty in America, yeah, of course, of course. I actually wanted to. You don't really uh, get that. You get like, yeah, I like it, and then it kind of go, I like it. But yeah, I'd rather be straight up. Do you like it or not? I don't care because I'm not here. I'm here to play music and do my thing, yeah. regardless if everyone likes it or doesn't like it. Yeah, I actually wanted to uh, study music at the Hermann Boot Academy. Um, it's uh, the studio where Martin Garrix comes from and uh -huh. uh, a lot of. Uh, famous musicians yeah and uh, I was there with um, I applied to songwriting it was and I uh, performed uh, some songs of me and uh, the first critique the jury had was like uh, yeah you have to uh, put more sounds in it and uh -huh. more effects and uh, yeah and I was really fast I uh, made a conclusion like I don't want to be on a school that teaches me how to do my own music and maybe that doesn't really make me a good musician but for me music is um, about uh, translating my feelings into something that I can share with people and when right. I have to uh, adjust it to a crowd and that they like it then it's really not fun for me anymore okay uh, because th this is a, that's a B right I'm asking you but uh, this uh, this is B. Yeah. 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 We weten nu al een hele hoop over Stijn, maar kijk ook naar de volgende aflevering om meer te weten te komen over Shandon. Everything's cool, everything's fine.